Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the testing of hypothesis. Today we will see what is the relation between the T and the F distribution. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics Tapna Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos on the probability and statistics. All of us knows that there are the two widely used distributions are there or you can see the widely used statistical test. One is called as the student T test, second is called as the Fisher F test is there. What is the purpose of the student t test? It is basically used to estimate the pop, uh, population mean when the variance is, is not given to you. On the other hand, the f distribution is basically used to uh, estimate the ratio of the variances of the two normally distribution populations. Now, once you have the t distribution and the corresponding statistics is called as the t strat, then the t square will follow the f distribution. What is that? Uh, you can summarize them here. If T statistics follows this N is called as the degree of freedom. So whenever uh, there is a, whenever any statistics T is follows the uh, T distribution with N degree of freedom, then the T square will follows the F distribution with one and N are degree of freedom. What is the F distribution is that? You all know that if you have the two independent uh, chi-square variates like x and y are the two independent having the degree of freedom nu1 and nu2 then you can write this term which is nothing but the f statistics or in other words you can say f is defined as the ratio of the two independent variables divided by their degree of freedoms and what is the t statistics or t distribution is that if you have the independent random variables and sigma that is a standard deviation of the population is unknown then we always use the t statistic which is defined like here and it follows the t distribution with what is the n minus 1 is called as the degree of freedom however the capital s is called as the unbiased estimator of the variance and remember that capital s is divided by the degree of freedom now how you can der derive the relation between t and f so we all know that if you have the standard normal variate that is called as the z then the square of this z uh, stand look at that this is the value of the z if you sub if you square of this random variable then it's called as the chi square distribution and since it consists of the one random variable so we call as the degree of freedom as a one it is denoted by here in other words you can say if z follows the standard normal random variable then the z square because you can see this value is nothing but my z square. So then z square will follow the chi square variate with one degree of freedom. In general, you can generalize them chi square degree with n degree of freedom. You can summarize them as a as a summation. And it is denoted by x square chi square of n is my degree of freedom. So uh, therefore you can summarize this as here. Now since this is a summation with respect to i, so this part is constant, so I can multiply by sigma square here. So this is my equation number 1. Now by using the t statistics we all know that here. So first of all we know that if xi's are the iid then x bar will also follow the normal distribution with mean this and the variance are here. So corresponding to them you have to define this value of z. So can you find the value of this from here? The value is nothing but by here, you can substitute this. So this value will be cancelled out, so the result expression is here. It follows the t statistics of n minus 1. Now you can substitute the value of the z also. Uh, since we need the t square, so you can substitute the t square, uh, that is a sigma square of there. Now, because z square follows the chi square distribution with the 1 degree of freedom, so you can substitute the value of here as this. Now our target is to estimate the value of this. So we can start with the definition of the S, this is given to be here and we know how you can compute the value of this, that is we can use this equation that we derive, this is with the n degree of freedom. Now here this is the S, in, in this case what is the S is, that is the degree of freedom is my, in this case the degree of freedom is my n minus 1. So therefore I can substitute this value in here with, n, instead of the n is a n minus 1 degree of freedom like here. Now from this expression, can you find the expression value of the sigma square by n square, s square? You can easily find from here. Now substitute this value into here, you will get the required expression as this. Now also you can summarize them like this way because this is the degree of freedom associated with this, I can write here. 
and here you can see this is the n minus 1 this is the n minus 1 this is the n minus 1 and this is independent of the n so you can summarize them in terms of journal as this is n and so on so what is that i can also write this if you divide it by this by 1 that's the same thing are there so what is the meaning of that what is that this n is the degree of freedom of this what is this one is this is the degree of freedom of this it means and these two chi square 1 and the n are independent random variables so you can see this is the ratio of the two independent chi square variant divided by their degree of freedom so what is the meaning of that what is that this is follows the f distribution with degree of freedom 1 and n so therefore what you conclude that if you start with the t which follows the chi square which follows the t distribution of n minus 1 degree of freedom or then the t square will follows the f distribution with 1 and and the are the degree of freedom so therefore you conclude if t follows the t uh, t distribution then the t square will follows the f distribution are there what is the advantages of this result is that you can use this uh, t distributions in you can use this t distribution regard as the application of the f distribution also what is the meaning of that is so uh, uh, as we know that uh, instead of computing the t statistics by using here you can compute the value of the f by using the t square so if you if you substitute the square of this then you will get this expression and then ap apply the f test with the degree of freedom as 1 minus n similarly you can apply the f test on the sample correlation coefficient you can find this value of the f which is nothing but the t square of this you can find the f for the regression coefficients and the partial correlation coefficient from the t statistics to the f statistics so this is the simple way to find the relation between t and f we will see how you can find the relation between t and chi square in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos best of luck students happy learning